Bishop Gorman. I'm Karima Gakarin. And I'm Danielle Harris. And we have four days till Thanksgiving and a two day school week. And I just have one question for you. What is that, Danielle? Who's not hungry on Thanksgiving? Who? A turkey, because he's already stuffed. I am so thankful that you told us that joke. On a note of thanks, please stand for the prayer and the pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for creating us. Thank you for giving us a family. Thank you for being with us in all our joys and sorrows, for your comfort in our sadness, your companionship in our loneliness. Thank you for yesterday, today, tomorrow, and for the whole of our lives. Thank you for friends, for health, and for grace. May we live this and every day conscious of all that you have been given us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready to have a delicious week, Bishop Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. This could possibly be the best day ever. And the forecast says that tomorrow Bishop Gorman. I'm Kelly Stewart. And I'm Alex Porterfield. And, and this, this is BGTV. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2011, and it's also World Hello Day. So at the risk of stating the obvious, hi. And we'd like to congratulate all of you because we've almost made it through half the week. That's right. We only have a two-day school week in observance of Thanksgiving. Speaking of giving thanks, a great way to give thanks is by being part of the worship choir. Singers, musicians, new and current members alike are all welcome to participate and come to the rehearsal after school today in the theater from 2 to 3 p.m. Tomorrow, there'll be an all-school mask, so don't forget to wear your mask uniforms. Also, seniors, remember that Jossens will be on campus today and tomorrow to take your graduation orders. Please stop by the tables at lunch to place your order. The Bishop Gorman speech and debate team was among 700 students who competed this weekend here in Las Vegas. Congratulations to finalist Peyton Carter, Nassar Hakim, Brittany Gregory, Jacob Torres, Summer Minden, and Maya Levitt. Junior Michael McIntosh walked away with two first place trophies. Congratulations team on your sweepstakes win as well. It looks like we have a bit of a competition going on. The sophomore class has challenged the freshman class to a blanket contest. What's the goal? Whichever class brings in the most blankets, whether they are used or new, to campus ministry by December 9th wins. Game on! And another competition you should be looking out for is this year's Scholastic Art and Writing Contest. This competition looks really good on any resume, even if you're a freshman. Last year, Gorman had 62 entries, with over half taking home an award. This included freshman Corinne McGeckrin and new Gorman alumni Jackie Morea, who won a prestigious Golden Key, and valedictorian Megan Flaviano, who won nationals. All you need to possibly be Gorman's next winner is $5 a piece of writing approved by Mrs. McEachern in room 203, and a submission of your work by December 13th. And if you'd rather have your peers critique your writing, join Ms. McEachern and the Creative Writing Club at 6.30 a.m. on the last school day of every week until Christmas break. It is open to anyone and bring whatever piece of writing you want. Keeping with the theme of competitions, here's Danielle Harris with our sports. Danielle? Thanks, Alex. Well, the football season is coming to a climax, and last Friday night, your Gales took one step closer to a third straight state championship. Gorman triumphed over our arch rivals, the Palo Verde Panthers, beating them 35-7. Senior Shaquille Powell ran for 218 yards and a touchdown, and junior quarterback Anya Solomon threw for 196 yards. Our Gales had a pair of 97-yard scoring drives in the first half to take control of the game. This is the third straight year Gorman has won the Sunset Region title and the second straight year we've beaten Palo in the championship game. Now Gorman takes on the Sunrise Region champion, Liberty High School, in the semifinals at 1 p.m. next Saturday at Rancho High School. Remember to come out to support the team. I'm Danielle Harris and that's all for sports. Thanks, Danielle. Um, Alex, what's, what's with the hat? Oh, this hat? 
I got it from the BGH, BGHS chapter of Best Buddies on December 3rd. They are joining in the effort to break the world record for the largest gathering of Santa Clauses anywhere. If you'd like to join them, just register for the 5K walk. Everyone who registers will get a five-piece Santa suit. Throw it on, have a great time, help someone exercise, get some exercise, and help people with intellectual disabilities all at the same time. Registration is in room 301. Sounds like a win-win. Everyone remember to give generously to my box tomorrow and know that every buck counts. That's all for this week. And from everyone here at BGTV, we want to wish all of you a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. And thank all of you for making us a part of your Monday morning. Until next week, I'm Kelly Stewart. And I am wondering if anyone left me some milk and cookies. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV.